Learning some of your children's schools don't even have a full time resource officer. The IP John Carlos Estrada is live in Lee County investigating the funding problem that could compromise safety. Amanda, that's right. All elementary schools, including Edison Park right behind me in Lee County, share one student resource officer with at most three other campuses, leaving some of our youngest students vulnerable, and that's alarming for some parents tonight. Our children are important. I agree. I think we should have trained resource officers in every facility. Every little bit help. That's something that should be taken care of. Here gets the most money. Why wouldn't they do it here? Lee County sounding off tonight after hearing that only half of our public schools have a full-time officer on campus, according to the Lee County Teachers Union. I mean, there's over 100 sites here, and so unfortunately, a lot of the schools have to share SRO. We want well-trained, highly trained law enforcement um, officials in the schools. Change is coming, and it will come fast. This is a moment when our state can come together around a common sense set of actions. Today, Governor Rick Scott calling for a $500 million school safety package that includes one deputy per 1,000 students. Right now, the state gives Lee County more school funding than other school districts in our area, over $1.6 million, nearly all of it going to officers on campus. Since 2008, resource officers here in Lee County have seen their budget cut by nearly half a million dollars, which means less of these vehicles parked out front of schools like this here in Lee County. They've gutted this line item and then they wonder why these tragedies keep happening. Let's sell cupcakes. Let's do something. I'm sure if we all joined in, the money wouldn't be an issue, even if we had to go to the private sector. And Governor Rick Scott says he's willing to forego tax cuts this year to make sure there's funding for his proposal. Chris? Hey John Carlos, the county says they're already working to beef up security at a few campuses, I understand. Of oh, course, that's right. I was told by the school district that they've been working for weeks before the Parkland shooting to add an additional resource officer to the five of the largest high schools in Lee County. On the night beat, John Carlos Estrada, Wink News Now.